The music industry has been one of the biggest entertainment industries in North America since the early 1900s, generating over $17 billion in the highest fiscal year. While this is a growing number each year, the industry is experiencing changes that are detrimental to the artist. According to an article from Statista.com, subscription and streaming services quadrupled the revenue of single download sales in 2016. This pattern is expected to continue indefinitely with undeterminable yet almost certain catastrophic consequences. Streaming services were created to make it easy for everyone to hear anyone. With this in mind, you can sign up to stream almost any song you could imagine to your device of choice with a simple monthly fee. At first, this seemed like a magnificent invention to display musicians' repertoire to a virtual audience and hopes and predictions of an increased fan base. Although this helped spread notice of certain artists, it was not paying the bands a fair price for their talents and time put into the music. Playing in a band for eight years now, I have firsthand witnessed the effects that the streaming services have had on the music industry. I can recall looking at the strict contracts that streaming services made us agree to before we could publish any of our music on their sites. We soon realized that in the end, the streaming service would be making more than us, so we decided to not do it. We uploaded our music to YouTube instead and have over 1,000 plays on some songs. And if the people listening to our songs were each paying to hear that song, we would have a good chunk of money, but unfortunately, the streaming services are reaping most of the benefit. I would persuade my audience to purchase music from bands and stores rather than using streaming services by speaking about the crippled and failing music industry, the reason why it is failing, and how you can help to regenerate the music industry. My main point number one is the crippled and failing music industry. Most of us have been to a concert, or maybe many, and we stand there and enjoy the music not really thinking about the work that goes into it. Just the fact that we like it and it helps distract us from our lives for a little bit and we have a good time. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, being a musician was an occupational outlet for more than 170,000 American citizens in 2016 and that is projected to grow on average 6% annually. This sounds like the industry is doing okay, but in all reality, the musicians are making far less than the streaming services, which are simply playing their music. They're not putting the work into it, they're playing the music very easy job for them and they get paid more. Many musicians have tried to fight for their right against mainstream services to relinquish the demanding ownership agreements and get back to making pure album sales. An example of this was the famous lawsuit of Metallica versus Napster which was filed back in 2000 by the Metallica drummer Lars Ulrich and Ulrich claimed that Napster was unlawfully allowing mp3 files to, of their songs to be uploaded to their website where anyone in the world could download them for free, and the company claims it was all for the purpose of helping unnoticed acts get public acclaim. But how much is acknowledgement worth when you're getting stripped of the financial profit? Although the times are changing with the advancement in technology, artist profits have yet to catch up with that of the streaming service companies. My main point number two is the reason why the music industry is failing the artist. With the swift advancements in streaming services and get-rich-quick plans, musicians have no choice but to sign contracts with services to be able to be heard. If they are not on a well-known platform for streaming music, then chances are they will not get farther than the local scene. They won't be able to get out farther than that. So, In order to be able to get out of the local scene, musicians have to increase the fan base drastically so that they have a better crowd when they go out on tour to go anywhere else and play. This makes many artists eager to sign that contract with streaming service to be heard around the world. But while being heard around the world can be nice, you need the money to get to places where you want to play outside of your local scenes. According to InvestmentAnswers.com, for every $9.99 purchase on iTunes, the artist only gets $0.99. Cents. So this is a 10% profit that the artist gets. And either the record companies, or if they don't have a record deal, then the streaming services get the rest of the $9. So the reason why you pay so much to go see artists perform live is because this is usually the best means of making money for musicians. Even when the tickets are sold from a venue, with the interest and convenience fees, you can end up paying just as much for those as you would for the ticket without the convenience fees. This is the result of greedy businessmen who are only looking at the music industry as a money-making scheme 
and not the beauty that the music holds. Even though the industry is not in favor of the artist, that doesn't mean you can't be. So my main point number three is how you can help regenerate the music industry and give back to the artist. If you have been enthralled with a band and you really love what they create, the best way to support them is to buy their merchandise directly from the band. If a band has a major record label, then the label will receive some profit, but not even close to what a streaming service would receive for you streaming a song. When you do go to shows, check out the merchandise that bands are selling. This is the straight profit for band and doesn't have to be divided between any record labels or any streaming services or anybody else in the middle. Some items can get pricey, but you have to keep in mind that this is the primary money maker in touring bands nowadays. So it will give you a good comfort knowing that you are helping an artist get to the next destination and keep their pursuit of music going. So I've talked about the failing music industry and how it doesn't support the individual move of an artist and how you can help the artists that you want by purchasing physical merchandise from bands at the show. Artists put a lot of work into their music and they are usually not expecting a return of profit. They usually just like doing it because they do it. They love doing it. We are each other's audience is basically a good way to put it when speaking about the music industry. Musicians rely on their career by trusting an audience and listeners to purchase their music. Without the listeners, a musician cannot progress in the industry. I want to challenge my audience to help the music industry get back to the roots of music by purchasing an album that they enjoy rather than streaming it. Thank you.